Even for the first 4 days, I did not try these advanced options. Still, is crappy worth it? Keep watching. Hey, what's up? My name is Shivam and before getting to the video, if at any point you would like to check it out, then you can do so from the description below. You want to polish your SEO and now wondering if Scrappy is a good choice. Worry not, we'll be looking to exactly what features does it offers, how can we use it to the best, any pros and cons, pricing and then come to a genuine conclusion. Let's start by logging into our account. We see the dashboard screen, I already have some projects, so let's go ahead and add a new one. Provide a full name and the URL of the site, for example, YouTube, uh, YouTube and YouTube.com. Now it will crawl for some time, oh my god, 497 pages and links. Let it take its time. Do it soon, Scrappy. I'll skip to the result. So we see the site health here is 86 out of 100. I'll shift to my website, theinventor.com from this top section where I can see my projects. My site health is 81 out of 100. I need to improve. This card displayed number of links it found and types of images can be seen here. Fourth card briefly talks about broken links and other issues. Click on anything and it will take you straight to the relevant section where you can have a look in detail and you can improve from there. Let's go back to the dashboard and you can see below is a list of features that are sectioned in a tidy manner. Here as well, click and you can correct. But if you just click on the dedicated issue tab, you can view all the issues in more filtered way and more assembled form. Where issues are actually serious notes, warnings a bit less serious and notices are just suggested point. Moving to the crawlers where you see all the pointers as how Google and others see it. Click on diagnostics which currently shows everything for your website overall. Now here's the magic. From this bar above, I can paste a specific URL for my website. Let's suppose the Nescafe e mug, toggle monitoring on and set to weekly only. Click analyze. See it has displayed the results in short. Similarly, you can utilize other options like HTML info, meta robots, etc. And add separate URLs for each. Another helpful feature is that we can export all these reports as a CSV file. Rest you know. I believe I have explained the usage of these two cards and you will find all other exactly similar to use such as content where you see keywords and can of course export these as well. Missing title, description, missing h1 keywords and low word count are some other op options to explore. Similarly you will find SERP reports, page speed, links and image section. Uptime card provides info such as average response time and average uptime. Now there's something interesting here in the settings, but do you remember in the beginning I had something to tell you later. This is it. In advanced settings we see update frequency, but with it max page limit, current default is 500. Oh gosh, that's why it searched for 497 pages and links on YouTube. Sorry YouTube. Also we can choose the user agent we want. Right now the default is Scrappy itself. Timeout and max depth for searching can be set per page. These same options could be found in the project setting panel with dedicated slots for team management, crawler, search and uptime settings. Now let's talk about its features in short. You've seen that its UI is simple, sleek and soothing. The features offered are indeed good and at par with other industry options. Specifically, a starter to pro, anyone can get habited to the friendly design. The time it took for preparing YouTube's analysis also shows that it's fast enough to pay for. However, I and my team noticed an issue while adding a team member. The program only shows him trial version when I have the pro plus version, which I think should be improved. We see a pricing strategy of 2.5, 7.5 and $15 per month on yearly plan which is double in monthly plans. But you can get the pro plan for lifetime from the link in the description at just $49 of one time purchase. And worry not, it comes with 60 days of money back guarantee too. Overall, I would say it's a bang for buck, but can you expect from $49 in today's world? And if I get any chance to improve my website, drastically, I'll surely pay. I wouldn't resist to pay $49. Rest as I said, the team function has to improve or it would not be possible for someone who wants to scale their business because they have to manage a whole team. 
that's it from my side now if you're looking for a seo writing tool you can watch this video right here and you can also watch my recent video from here that's it for today like share subscribe stay safe bye bye